So indeed, uh, Blue picked this up uh, off of Green, is using the card then to get the Elder Reset. So they take the Muslim Faith back. I'm assuming that this doesn't trigger the loss of another Elder, otherwise they couldn't do this. It's not obvious either way. <sighs> and this is just too much of a pain to keep looking everything up. So now it gives them the ability to do, I mean, it's not going to trigger off this again, right? Well, who knows? Um, but this will give them the ability to do culturation, which I think they'll do. Uh, they want to take an elder from someone. They could take it from green or red. Who do they think's in the lead? Hard to tell. They'll take reds. Oh, no chance of chaos. Uh, that's their only population growth action, so they're done. Onward. Green also did a reset the same way. Flipped over, uh, I don't know, giving of alms. And what the hell else? They've got this card in hand, which they can't play because their footprint isn't large enough. They don't see any plants that they could have taken. So, but they were able to do a significant number of population actions, including a Sabine Raid on white, and then they expanded over into the Bering Strait. Black grabbed the boat card and played it, and then for their, after not getting, falling into chaos, for their population actions, they attacked and destroyed a red piece that was up here, did a Sabine Raid, and grabbed themselves a cultivation card that they want to use in the hopes of trying to raise their footprint. <sighs> they still don't have the uh, wind power, though, that they need for that. Onward. White. Red got itself involved in some fighting, mainly to reduce its thing. And the problem is, it still couldn't play this card and get that tin, so they had to position themselves back there, because the black unit killed them. Um, but white drew for a card got itself one of these public cards. Uh, no special actions on this one. They're not going to get it because C wants to bid on it. He likes information. Information. And so that was kind of a wasted card for him. White still can't go into chaos so he's going to have to play. He was drawing to try to get some kind of thing that'll allow him to uh, to cultivate something. He doesn't have it in hand. Uh -oh. He may want to play the Elder Reset though. So he doesn't get shafted that way again. Okay, but uh, we've got uh, his expansion. He's got up to three of them. And he'll be trying to take as many of them as he can. Blue opens things up drawing a card that's very good for him. Two footprint. He's got that matched. Gives him a possible uh, animal growth, but he doesn't have the counters on the board. He's only got these two. But it does give a, a, a technology increase, which he grabs. And that's enough that next time he can go into a golden age and hopefully end this thing. Uh, he thinks he's in the lead right now, and to tell you the truth, he really doesn't care. <laughs> All right, onward. Green pillaged that card off blue, and now for their actions, they're going to play it. Uh, they also have at least a two footprint, so they get a point of energy as well. I can find it. And that's putting them not in a terribly exciting place. Now, here's the thing. They don't have three footprint, so they can't really play this card the way they want to. They want to be able to get the, the metalworking advantage off that uh, because they want to get the weaponry or the energy, which they both need. 
But what they are going to do is they're going to play a fecundity decrease. You know, particularly, they could have gotten an animal here. Mm, might be worth it. I don't know. Yeah, sure. They have lots and lots of counters there. Sure, they'll take a shot with the animal on this one. So they're at plus two on the yak. Let's see if they can domesticate a yak. Yuck. Plus two gives them a three. Ah, oh, they just killed off the yaks. What a shame. And yes, I know, I know, but I would rather play with things dying than not. Okay. I just like things dying. Now they could hold both cards, but they don't want to. And they're going to take the fecundity decrease here. Oh, they had to they had to spend an elder for that attempt. Uh, they're going to take the fecundity decrease here. Mainly because they can't do the, yeah, the uh, animals again. So, and they want to cover that card. They're going to make it hard. Nobody's going to want to take this card from them because that would give somebody else this bonus card. Okay, and now what are they doing? Well, no chance of uh, a disaster happening. So they're going to take their population actions and they want to raise these somewhat, but not terribly. They don't want to, they don't want to chance chaos, but they've got to get to some place where uh, they can get either. You know, they want to get some place where they can get that metal fired off or maybe a plant. They're in a place with a plant, but they want to get to that tin. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this guy too, but is there something I can attack? I could take that with a Sabine Raid. So that was, that was one of their actions. They've got two more. Can I get to them? I was somewhere here. One, two. Ah, I can't do a Sabine Raid against them. Oh, I can do it from here though, maybe. Let's see. What's my boat? My boat's not good. Which means I could come, let's move him here to the same space. I can't do this. I can't get down here. Mm. Ah. I'd really like to be able to hit him. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I'll just do a kill. Well, that doesn't really help me. And it doesn't really hurt him. Alright. Uh, can't do acculturation. There's not much I can do with that. <sighs> yeah, I'll just pass him. I don't know. So Black's idea is, look, I can get that card if I work hard at it. So for his one action, he's going to grab the top card. Now he goes to when he gets to play his cards. Now he's got to have... No, he doesn't have to worry about hand size here. He doesn't have anything that can use this yet. Yeah, so he doesn't want to do that. And he doesn't have anything that can use this. But he can take a... No, he can't do that either because he needs the three population. All right. So he's not going to play any cards, but he's got three population moves. The first one, he goes here, one. That's one. Second one, two, three, four. Kills green off, right? Actually, he actually kills green. That was something he wasn't really counting on. Uh, that's two of his actions. He's got one more action left, which he'll spend on the Sabine Raid. Grab that extra card. It's okay that he's holding this many cards, because he could hold two when it was time to play down to hand size. That's all his actions. Starvation doesn't come into play for him. So we're going to move on to Red. Red's decided the thing he wants most out of what he can have is an Elder. So he grabs an elder card 
And now he's got things he can play. Now, he needed the Elder so that he can play this card. So he'll play that Elder, and it gives him an eyeball, at least temporarily. And now, he can play this. He's got a three footprint. It's going to go up to a four because of this card. And, more importantly, he can do mining. And he'll spend an Elder. And he'll roll on the tin at plus one. Tin's not exactly what he wants, but it'll have to do. He gets a total of three on the mining. He says you need two energy. He doesn't have two energy, so he failed. No tin for him. No chance of chaos with this. So... Now he gets the population expand. <sighs> Probably three actions. Let's see what we do. I gotta get to those biofuels. How's my boat? I have no boat. Mm. Alright, I can get to these maybe. What's my chance? Almost none, but it has to happen. All right, so I build here, one. I am attacking white. I'm equal in fighting power to white, so we each lose one. I do a Sabine raid, I grab a card, and now what? <laughs> and I take my last action. Hmm, yeah, I guess I barely could and move down to this biofuel. I'm gonna take a shot at it. I need an energy to make it into my golden age. I know that blue is gonna be able to make it in there. I, I have to fight him for it, I guess. I don't know. All right, on to white. Well, white's also panicking. They're gonna draw a card. I can only go from deck two, well, more or less. They get something kind of interesting. Potter's slow wheel. This is cheap. Are they set up? They're set up in position to go for that biofuel. They're going to do it. They're going to play this card. Now, this is an interesting card for anyone. Uh, but can they get a second one? No, they don't have a dude for it, so they can't have one. But they can play this one, and now they have a minus one. Oh, minus one isn't good. Uh, they have a minus one on getting that biofuel. Well, let's see if they roll a six. Anything less won't work. They do not. They get a one. They need way too much to get that. So they've just kind of wasted a, an action, but who knows. Now, they're still not out of that second era. And their chances of getting out of it are kind of low. And they do make it out. Um, five minus three is two. They got under a two. They get their chaos that they want, which means they can go into era three. This flips over. They lose half their pieces on the board. All right, well, I'll pull those back. Now that may be a problem because maybe they were in not bad shape to win. Like, they were at uh, five and whatever growth they got, six plus three is nine. They may have been in second place. Blue is still ahead. Blue has eight points just in cards, which means, well, they'd be at nine if they got completely uh, wiped off the map. All right, so let us see what the end result is, and then we'll come back on the next video. And I'm thinking Blue's gonna probably win next turn.